Wow, that's all I have to say after checking out the How to Train Your Dragon movie. I am super duper impressed. I'm glad that a lot of you guys have insisted on me checking out the movie after playing the game because I genuinely do think that it is a terrific film. I do really like that essentially the movie acts as a prequel to the game because obviously the game already takes place after the village has adapted the idea of training dragons instead of slaying dragons which I think is super duper cool. So it kind of acts almost like a bridge between, I guess, How to Train Your Dragon 1 and How to Train Your Dragon 2. And actually, should I watch How to Train Your Dragon 2? Let me know down in the comment section below. In addition to all of that, of course, as I always say, don't forget to go on ahead and smash that thumbs up button if you guys would like to see part number four as we continue towards the conclusion of this epic, epic title. I genuinely am super duper impressed by the amount of depth that this game has. In today's episode, you're going to really see that because we learn a ton of new moves. There's an insanely difficult fight at the very end of this one. So check it on out. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, of course, don't forget to leave a like. Thank you so very much for your kindness and your continued support on the first two parts. Enjoy part number three. Without further ado, dive on in. It looks as if the stable doors were left open and your dragons escaped. You need to find them. Check around to see if anyone saw anything. Sounds like a plan of attack, Gober. So I guess the dragons are now gone. Your dragons are missing and you have to find them. Hey, on the bright side, we have some extra coins. Maybe we could buy some dragons. We've unlocked a new video in the extras menu. You can now get a new dragon at the docks. And yeah, I guess uh, let's have a quick talk to some of the folks in the town, in the village you here. should put your dragons on a leash. They're running amok in the wild zone. Ah, so they're in the wild zone. Okay. Might as well collect them chicken. Should we do a little bit of shopping before we go to the get wild you? zone? Uh, what do you got? Okay, so you got all the regular items. What's the rare items you have? A mussel? Some honey drink? A burdock root? A valerian root? That sounds pretty fancy. Ginger root? Platinum ore? A bunch of... Ooh, gold? I would not mind buying a little bit of gold. Oh, you're sounding a little bit like a leprechaun there a little bit. The vibe. Okay, so let's get my, my lucky charms and head to the wild zone because after all, that is where our dragons have escaped to, allegedly. Maybe they're in the wild zone. Yep, okay. So everyone's guiding us towards the wild zone. Wasn't I supposed to be able to get a new dragon too? Maybe, maybe I have to go to the wild zone first. Hey, uh, have you seen some dragons fly on by here, dude? I just saw a dragon in the wild zone. Got it. Lose one? Yep. I certainly did. So that most definitely confirms that our dragon is probably somewhere within the wild zone itself. Now, luckily, the wild zone is not that large, so I'd imagine we should be able to find them pretty quickly here. I'm going to check the cave because I do wonder if maybe the dragons are within the cave itself. Nope, you cannot access the challenge cave. Huh. Hello, have you seen a dragon out here? I found these dragons, and a viking can't have too many. Willing to fight for your dragons? Winner gets them, scales and all. If you want to do battle, go fetch yourself a new dragon. So, he found our dragons and took them for themselves? What, what, what were they in, like a Pokeball, bro? So I guess we have to go back and select a new dragon. Okay, so we've arrived back at the docks, which is where we should be able to select the dragon. Uh, we could get a Gronkle here. I do want to quickly take a look at, remember last time, I did take a look at some of the dragons that are possible. So for example, here you have the hideous Zippleback, which still sounds like a medical condition. Um, I do want to double check up here because I think this is the one dragon type that I didn't actually get a chance to look at. So let's see what this one might end up being. Ooh, so we could get another Night Fury. Wait, so you could have multiples of the same dragon? That's kind of interesting. I didn't realize that was even possible. Since the, this time we're getting a hideous Zippleback. Hey. Yeah. 
You have found a hideous simple back. Again, can't be the only one that feels like that sounds very bizarre, but let's make our way back to that thief. So here we are back with the dragon thief. Bro is literally like Team Rocket out here, like prepare for trouble and make it double. Not a bad Stealing our dragons. Dragon. Let's go. And I guess technically with double, we have a two-sided or two-headed dragon prepared for battle. Oh my goodness, we might get whooped. Holy moly, his dragon looks insane. This dragon looks like when you pull like a super rare card versus Ready? like a regular common. You know? Fight. He looks pretty freaking impressive. well at hitting nice combos though letting this thing flying no you do not get to keep our dragons please oh my goodness i haven't even used my long range attacks just because i don't feel like i have time to do so oh no Maybe I should try. Ooh, that worked really well, actually. Come on. Maybe another fire breath. To get the job done. Yes! KO! Oh, first try we won. Let's freaking go. Now give me my dragons back, bro. And you know what? Actually, give me yours too. That looks like a cool dragon. I, I wouldn't mind keeping that. Congratulations. You won. We did it, guys. We did it. A new legendary dragon unlocked in arcade mode. Okay. What do you have to say for yourself, Thief? One, two, three? You've got more dragons than I've had toes lost in battle. Okay. That's, isn't that not a good thing? I mean, why would you want to lose your toes in battle? That seems like a silly thing to want to deal with, no? Uh, now, we are over here by the challenge cave, and I guess from one battle challenge onto the other challenges that have been unlocked, I think it would be kind of cool to test ourselves and see what the other new modes that are now available to us are. So let's dive in. Okay, so obviously previously on the last episode, we did complete some ice sculpting and we did complete the looping race. Ice sculpting was a lot of fun. Looping race was kind of boring. I'm just gonna be honest, but Flying Shepherd, Memory Torch and Puzzle Dragon are new modes that are now available. So let's try them out. Um, it looks like Night Fury and Deadly Natter are now both in kind of terrible positions in terms of healing, food, mood, trust, and rest. So let's give the hideous Zippleback a chance. Well, this is awkward. The hideous Zippleback is not able to actually do anything because it's too low of a level. Oh, so this is interesting. Because all of our dragons right now are either not powerful enough, like in the case of hideous Zippleback, or in the case of Night Fury and Deadly Natter, don't have the energy to complete any of these challenges, I guess we actually have to head back to the Dragon's Den. Okay, so back at the village, I did try to stop by the Dragon's Den, but unfortunately we can't actually interact with the dragons because apparently the dragons are now sick. So we're going to actually have to meet up with Gobber uh, in order to hopefully come up with a solution here. So see what he's got to say. Hello? How's what it going? a relief! You found your dragons! This time, don't lose them. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, what do you do about them dragons. being... dragons. Scrawny, weak, and in no shape to fight, friend. Well, that's rude, bro. I have a secret healing recipe to revive your dragons. The ingredients to my healing recipe won't be a secret for long. If you don't have the items, you can find them on the island. Or check with the shopkeeper. Okay. Bring back four ginger roots, four bardock roots, Six mir mirrors, mi mirrors, mirrors, one of those things. You have to win a challenge to earn ginger and bardock root. Okay. Um. So we have turnips. We have ginger root. Yes. We have bardock root. Brilliant. Did we need three or four of that? I don't remember. We have some seaweed. 
The only thing that was missing is Merce. So I guess we have almost everything. If you don't um, have the items, you can find them on the island or check with the shopkeeper. Good. Let's see. Maybe the shopkeeper has the few final pieces that need? we need. I have all kinds of items. Um, seaweed. That's all we need. Do you have? Yes, he does. Brilliant. Nice. We'll buy Bye. that, and then we'll buy a little bit of the other item that we need—the burdock root. Which Good now items. I'll have this ready right away. Yeah, dragons go. have a clean bill of health and are free to fight in a tournament. Brilliant! So we are technically prepared to compete in a tournament now. We have revitalizing powder. So I guess when you lose your dragons in battle or they get stolen by a certain someone that shall remain unnamed, he's a turd. But when that happens, you can now go ahead and reset your health uh using the Revitalizing powder, which now I think means we can safely head to the dragon's den in order to heal up. Pick up making his way down to the dragon's den itself. And we've arrived. Okay, brilliant. So now our dragons actually have health and look like they're in much better shape. Obviously, we can do a little bit better than even what we currently have here. Um, so first and foremost, what I'd like to do is cook something. So let's see if we can cook a roast chicken for example brilliant that seems to have helped quite a bit in terms of health that's nice um can we make this healing item we can brilliant that almost gets us into tip-top shape basically and then for mood wise can't really craft any of those things unfortunately um we can improve the mood by using this gel here so that's nice a wee little bit you know and then we can improve our trust score by using some of this ruby as well as quartz which is lovely then for deadly natter we're gonna go ahead and feed you some oh guess you don't like that food do you that's awkward you eat beetles by any chance you don't eat beetles either great you eat turnip you do we have a vegetarian dragon here. Of course, I like to call them dinosaurs because I always do mess that up. And improve our mood a little bit. And finally, we have our new dragon, which is a pretty epic one. But first and foremost, let's go ahead and eat some food. That seems like a good idea. Uh, doesn't like that item and doesn't like that item. Great. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to improve. You like gold? I guess I, of course you like gold. Who doesn't like gold, right? Okay, there we go. So we did pretty good there. But one thing I definitely do want to do for our dragon here is to customize things, at least a wee little bit. So I kind of was inspired by the red coloring that we saw before. Unfortunately, we don't have any customization, so I can't or any customization parts available. So I can't really mess with too much yet. Um, but it does mean that it gives us an opportunity to level up further which should be cool um hold on and then we have markings color that we can adjust as well which i actually kind of don't mind making a wee little bit darker because i feel like the red and black combination or i guess in this case it might be even more there we go because i was gonna say it's a little bit more pink than red that's a cool looking dragon there Okay, so I did go ahead and complete a nice practice session, a nice little combat tutorial with Goodbye. the new dragon that we collected. I'm on a roll. KO. Take that, dragon. Feel that? Perfect. Whoa, now. Now that's what a trained dragon looks like. Perfect. All right, so having completed a bunch of the training sessions for our brand new dragon, just to get a little bit of leveling going, I'm pretty happy with that. Another 800 XP points. Nice. The hideous Zippleback gains a little bit more XP. That is absolutely wonderful. So now we can go ahead and head towards our challenges. So as we make our way to the wild zone, I kind of started to think to myself, 
So as we're making our way to the wild zone, I kind of started to think about something, and that is, it'd be kind of cool to come up with maybe a name for the Zippleback. Just because, honestly, Zippleback, not, not, not the best name I've ever heard. I'm going to be honest. So, you know what? I'm going to let you guys decide. Down in the comment section below, either leave a comment or if you see a really cool name for the two-headed Zippleback, let me know um what you come up with i'm very very curious and if there's a cool name i will try to go ahead and include that in the next episode along with a shout out to the person that comes up with said name so with that in mind here we are at the cave of challenges and as we arrive within the cave of challenges of course we have new challenges to partake in of course we have the flying shepherd the memory torch and the puzzle dragon I'll be honest, looping race wasn't really all that impressive, but I am very much looking forward to trying out these other ones. So I guess let's start with the Flying Shepherd and I guess we'll give the hideous Zippleback a chance here. So fly from one island to the other and grab sheep. Dirty sheep can be either white or brown. Wash them up to find out. White sheep, 100 points. Brown sheep, 250 points. Holy. And dirty sheep, 150 points. Okay. So... Okay. Ha. Huh. Okay, I see a sheep. So we can swing our wings. Okay, so we have a button prompt. Roger that. Watch your backs. And Oh, we're just supposed to bring them back over here. Okay. Ta-da! You've been rescued, sheep. Okay. So here's another white sheep. Can you grab multiple sheep at once? I don't think Look you out, can. Sheep. Here I come. No, you cannot. Okay. Let's go try to get one of these. Um, darker sheep. Which I guess we don't know which color it will end up being. Air time. Um. These ones are supposed to be, I think if it's a brown sheep, I think that's the one that gives us like 250 points, which is nuts. That would be lovely. But which one was that? That was 150 points, I think. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Because it did say wash the sheep. Here's Does that mean sheepy, you're supposed sheepy, to like sheepy. bring them onto the water maybe? There's another sheep. Is this considered an island? How the heck? Okay, I have a question. How did a sheep even get up here, dude? Like even a human can get up here. How did a sheep manage to get up here? Okay, so we're gonna Air test time. it out. This time, we're gonna see if we can. Oh, look at that. You do wash the sheep in the water, okay. So if you bring them down into the ocean, which by the way, again, imagine if you're in the position of this sheep right now, you're probably freaking out. You just got picked up by a big giant flaming dragon, then dropped into the ocean. And that would be pretty nerve wracking, I'd imagine. Okay, bring that one down. That puts us at a thousand points. I think the only other island that we haven't checked is this one and that one over there. Unless if there's new sheep that spawn should be the final two here we've got sheep Repeat, there we go we've got sheep <laughs> so we get the gold medal which is absolutely brilliant because i think that means up 18 000 xp holy moly okay that's definitely pretty freaking nice holy look at all these rewards we got from that Wow, and we got a bunch of rare items as well. Okay, so we tried the Flying Shepherd. I guess that means next up is the Memory Torch, which I'm going to attempt to complete with the Deadly Natter. So repeat as many sequences as you can by lighting up the torches in the right order. Look carefully at the sequence shown on the screen, then try to repeat it when it is your turn. And if we could manage to hit the five points of objective that'll give us nine thousand points of experience which sounds pretty awesome okay so let's see what this means i have no idea i do see four torches okay so it's almost like simon says i guess okay awesome. 
That seems pretty simple. Okay. That's very easy. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, we're at three points already. I do really love that the dragon that you select always appears inside of the challenge or the mini game. And then in addition to that, I do really like the fact that all the customization that you do to the dragons, like it is kind of impressive that um, they include like all the color schemes, the wings, whatever it is that you do to the dragon then applies to the dragon in any and every facet of the game, which I think is pretty interesting. Because, again, this is like an older game, obviously. And the fact that it has so many gameplay mechanics included for a movie tie-in game is kind of cool, honestly. A, a very, very pleasant surprise. Okay. I thought this would be the first one that I would get wrong. That one was actually complicated. Okay, they are starting to get, like, pretty lengthy now. So, like... Oh my goodness, was that three? I think it was three. I hope that was three. Oh, I might mess this one up. I think it's A once, then X three times, and then A. Yes, let's go. Okay. So far, so good. We have B, X, X, B, A. Okay. So it'll be B, X, X, B, A. Got it. I am kind of curious to see what happens if you get one wrong. So I'm just going to mess this one up on purpose, just because I'm genuinely curious to see what happens if we get this one wrong. So let's say I just go B, B, Y. Oh, it lowers your timer. Okay. Interesting. So it cuts down your timer by a whole five seconds, which is quite a bit, honestly. And I honestly, I'm not going to be able to keep up with this one. This, uh, that one was kind of difficult. Light them up. It looks like it's easy to get a gold medal, but if you're really going to try to go for like a super duper high score, it is actually a challenge. Now, we do earn 18,000 points, which is absolutely brilliant. That unlocks a bunch of new customization for the Deadly Natter as well, which means we'll be able to get some more cool customization done there. We get some common items as well as some rare items, which is brilliant. And of course, then it is time for everyone's favorite dragon, Night Fury, to shine in the Puzzle Dragon Challenge. So we're going to need to look carefully at the dragon and then try to recreate it by using the available customizable body part. You can have a look at the dragon as often as you want. However, watch the timer going down. So the challenge is to try to complete at least three points worth in order to get 9,000 XP. So let's see if we can succeed. So far, we've done really well with all these challenges. Let's see if we can go three for three. Look carefully. Okay. Holy moly. I'm trying to remember all the parts. Wait, are you serious? Okay, it was feathers. Thank goodness you don't have to get the colors right. Oh, I don't remember if it had any spine details. I don't think it did. It definitely had the green wings. Like that, maybe? I'm done. Yes. Okay, that was right. Okay, pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Crazy looking tail. Nothing on the spine. The ears are like that. And the wings. Okay. Holy moly. Holy moly. Okay. So. Um... The head was like this. The wings were that design, I think. Yes, okay, brilliant. Then it would be the big giant spine again. And then for the wings, I'm gonna try that. I think that. I got it. Oh, that one was wrong, dang it. Uh, this one looks a little bit like Gumby. <laughs> I can't be the only one that's seeing that. Um, oh, this will be really difficult to complete in three seconds though. Um, uh, oh, no. oh, wow. Cool dragon. Well, we still managed to get the gold medal. Didn't do quite as well as the other challenges. That one is probably the most difficult for me, at least, was that particular challenge. But on the bright side, we do still get 18,000 XP, which levels up 
Night Fury all the way up to level nine, unlocks a bunch of new customization, which is awesome. Very happy about that. As well as, of course, once again, some lovely new rare items, as well as some common items. All right, so we're back at the Dragon's Den now that we've acquired some new parts and pieces. And that means that probably customization on this dragon is going to look a whole heck of a... Is that a banana? No, no, it's a horn. <laughs> okay, I was like, oh, why would you want to equip a banana? I'm like, that's a bizarre ability, but let's go with it. Why not? Does it caught my eye? Ooh, okay, that's terrifying. But I do like that. That looks kind of cool. Whoa. Let's go with this kind of flaming effect. We're going to look as intimidating as possible. You know, after all, when we're going into these fights, some of it is an advantage just on the basis of looking intimidating. And this is a pretty freaking intimidating looking dragon at this point. Let's have a flaming tail like we're Charizard. And change up the markings a little bit. I kind of like the stripes look. I feel like that looks pretty cool. A good idea. So this is a dragon that I guess likes seafood. That's what I've noticed. Is that this one seems to really enjoy the seafood side of things. As in, I see food and I eat it. Sorry about that joke. Um, we're going to increase our strength. We're going to increase speed a little bit. Um, and I'll probably increase power as well as fire. That seems like all pretty good stuff. So then we're going to let the dragon take a quick nap. Okay. So now our dragons are all fully powered up and ready to rumble. So let's step onto the battlefield. So this is going to be our third trophy that we're trying to earn. This one has eight fighters. A victory gives you plus 15 points. A defeat gives you minus 15 points. And this one is titled the Tough Nuts, or sorry, Tough Nut T Tournament. So that is where we Welcome to the Tough Nut Thorsten Tournament. Prepare to battle Tough Nut Thorsten of the Thorsten clan, a headstrong Holy group moly. of warriors. Thorsten, Beware Thorsten, of bashing. Come on, let's move on to the next fight. Sounds good. I'm hungry for winning a battle. My goodness, some of these people have 150 points already. That is absolutely insane. Now, of course, the other thing that you'll notice is that everyone now has three dragons equipped. Choose your so next opponent. Pretty cool. And the other thing that's interesting is that, as you can see, you can indeed have the same dragon multiple times. So if you wanted to, I guess, in theory, you could like... Let's say collect three Night Furies and just have those three available to you. Come so on, let's that is kind of cool. Fight. Okay, it's going to be Hungry versus Hiccup. Um, I think we're going to try out our new dragon first. Um, then we're going to equip um, the other two here. And let's get ready to rumble. Okay, here we ready? go. Fight. Now this, we're, we're looking pretty intimidating. Okay, that's fine. I was about to say, we're looking pretty intimidating, but Attack! took a lot of damage from the very first move. Whoa. Settle down, jerk. I'm hot and not in a good way. Oh my goodness. Okay, so round one, KO! we won, but it looks like our dragon literally has zero health remaining. That's Ready? a little worrisome. Fight. We go into dragon number two. Wow. Okay, that's a problem. That is definitely a problem. That's okay. We're prepared for battle. Oh, dang it. Whoa. Okay, this is by far our toughest opponents so far. Come on, one more. Okay. Okay, round two, much better. We managed to get the KO quite easily. Let's go! Ooh, victory KO. again. That is tremendous. That was definitely a little closer than I wanted it to be, but we did well. The win is ours, which is absolutely tremendous. Pickup is in good shape. So that would probably explain it. Well, I guess Come next on, up, let's move on to we're going to go on ahead and challenge a burp lout. And this time, I'm going to let Night Fury shine bright first. Then we're going to go into our new dragon and then into the deadly Natter. Okay, that's a pretty terrifying looking dragon they've got. Burp loud. Ready? That's supposed to be like burp loud. Okay. I'm going to do a charge up attack. Whoa. Okay. We did pretty well 
dodging there. Oh. Here I come. Don't mess with an angry Please dragon. turn around. Oh no. Okay, I'm starting to take a little too much damage here. Ooh, the tail attack with our tail. trident tail gets the job done. Brilliant. Come on. I have no health dragon. left. No, I'm so sorry, Night Fury. Hitting long range attacks. Blast away. Like multiple times we got hit with long range attacks. It did a lot Tail. of damage. Like I'm talking like three quarters of a health bar. So that added up real quick. Ready? Fortunately enough, we're able to win that Fight. pretty quickly there. Fire ability, fire, fire ability. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So we win another Hell. one. That should be a big, big win. Because I think that takes us in range towards being able to challenge Top Nut. I'm pretty sure. This victory allows Hiccup to move up in the ranking. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. So that means we can now challenge the champion, Tough Nut. Oh my goodness, these dragons are level 15. Oh my goodness. If we win this, that would be a miracle, honestly. Yep, that looks pretty scary. You can't beat me. Well, we'll see about that. I think he might be right about that, honestly. Ready? Just because of the fact that he's Fight. six, seven levels higher than us, which First is left. not fun. Here I come. Here I come. He sings me. Watch out. Watch out. Not even close. Okay, I'm able to block like that. that. Missed. Attack. Oh my goodness, we won round one. Ooh, that was a miracle. My goodness, what a brawl. That was crazy. Ready? What is that? Look Fight. at that dragon. That looks so sick. Is it me? Or do you look burning mad? I'm gonna try to is do as me? much damage as I can. Look burning mad? Before we lose my fury here. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be crazy. No. Oh my goodness. Okay, so far, KO. we're keeping up. The problem is that the strongest dragon has been saved for last. Ready? Oh my goodness, that thing Fight. looks insane. Oh KO. no! Okay, so that's a defeat, which means we only have one dragon remaining to try to Ready? challenge this one. Fight. It is our simple back versus theirs. Okay, fire well, well, damage does good. You put up a good fight. Ow, that was my head! I really hope I'm that's out of range. Twice Miss. Oh my goodness, I don't know how I just missed getting hit by that. Oh my goodness. Stop getting free Ooh, attack. You must like the sound of sizzling scale. Attack! Not on my one. Attack! Watch out! Norsons are tougher than tough! Did you throw a cannonball in my head? Because that's what it felt like. Here I come! Not on my watch. Here I come! Oh my goodness, that was enough damage! The five-hit combo! Oh, I literally stopped breathing. I thought I was going to faint. Holy moly, that was insane! <laughs> We win! First try, even though we were completely, completely over or under leveled. I was about to say over leveled. The opponent was over leveled. Surprise! Now you have to beat me if you want to win this title. You definitely can't beat me. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? What? Ready? Blast away! But they use nothing but not even close. Zipple backs, right? Oh my goodness. I barely did any damage. That Ew. was a disaster. We'll rough them up. Oh no. How does this feel? Nice try. Smooth move. Watch out. 
Yes, a loss. The surprise of Rough Nut, in addition to Tough Nut, was definitely a little too tough. And I honestly thought to end the video there on a huge loss and just kind of give up for now and maybe just go spend time out in the wild zone. Yeah, right. Instead, we're going to train. We're going to go on ahead and power up the one and only Night Fury by completing a bunch of the melee challenges, by completing a bunch of the fire challenges, by completing a bunch of the regular challenges, and just in general exploring the overworld and go right back into the arena for round number two. Being negative when you should be getting after it. I got facts over facts over tracks. This and that spitting slow, spitting fast. Like a roast, like a gas. Think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past. And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness. Hilarious, you think you're worth my time. You're delirious, mysterious. Because you are behind the fake exterior. Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior. Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag. I want you to hear words, you can say them back. I want you to feel free from the chains at last. And to believe in what you got, it was built to last. Yeah. Now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself Oh, I'm back, all right Get ready for a whooping this time Here I come Here I come Ooh, nice little combo Along with a nice flaming attack, attack. Watch out And that secures the victory. Ooh, let's go. Dragons that power is so I freaking thought. powerful now. Now we can really put this one to the test. Okay, that's a cool looking dragon. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous about this fight still. But. Attack! I am certainly not giving up this time. Attack! Time to heat up the competition. Watch out! Oh, nice counter. Oh, that's sky. a strong attack. Dang. Watch out! Smooth move! Watch out! Watch out! No. Hey, Have to be first. Attack. Come on, please! Hey, that was close. We have to Here break I through go. the shield. And land the final blow for the victory! You call that a Ooh, dragon? Ooh, let's go! Man, that training session was definitely worthwhile. Learned so many new moves, so many new combos, and the extensiveness and of the game Good took work. a huge step up. We also win the tournament, which means we earn the trophy, which is what we were working towards. A new legendary dragon has just been unlocked in arcade mode, which is super duper awesome. Actually, two new legendary dragons. And we unlocked a new difficulty mode for the looping race, as well as the ice sculpting challenge mode, plus the flying shepherd, plus the memory torch, and even the puzzle dragon as well. With that in mind, we also earn a brand new training lesson, how could you lose like that? Uh, duh, the same way you lost. My three dragons were meaner than yours. I'll do better in the championship. And I'll do better than you. Hey, guys, could one of you be a pal? Hoist me up to the tower. There's a horn I need to, uh, borrow before somebody sees me. I'll do it. He this guy's always me. up to no good. He likes me better. If he likes you better, why is he standing on your face? Because I like it. Ha, 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 ha.